try to vlog as much as possible, but we wanted to give you guys a rundown of the, uh, of the trip. Sure. So, here we go. Day one. We got to the airport. We woke up at 2.30 in the morning. It was, uh, yeah. So then we left at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, we boarded the plane 30 minutes late? Yeah. And left at least that. Yeah. And left nearly an hour late. So that was fun. So then we get on the it was, short flight. No, it was raining. It was it Yes, was, it, it was, was pouring down rain. Morning, so that caused a delay to something with the track or the thing like something. Something happened. They, with the, yeah, so that delayed it by now. And then we finally get, get on the plane. We fly out. We end up landing almost at the same time our other flight's supposed to be taking off. So we run to the gate and luckily they held the plane. Because if not, we wouldn't miss there the was flight. Other, there was like four other people who had yeah. to get on there. So. And so we get on the flight, and it was six to eight hours, somewhere in there. And we pretty much ate all our snack food because we didn't, we didn't get a meal. And we landed at like one. Was it one? Yeah, it was about one. It was about one. It was 12, 12 Because we, we actually made good time, and they got us here 30 minutes early. So yeah. it was great. And then we got there, we, we went to the hotel which was awesome, toured the whole thing, and um, we had a lot of fun doing that because that was a nice hotel. Really good view. Yes, beautiful view. Welcome to Cal Poly Shores. That one's huge, look here Kimberly. Hi guys, welcome to our Hawaii hotel room. This is where you walk in. A cute little living room. And then the kitchen. And over here, we have a nice little deck. To the hallway. There's Mary Hannah and I's room. We're packing, so, you know, I apologize. And then we have our bathroom. The parents' bedroom. And then there's a bathroom connected. So, yep, there is our hotel room. Well, yeah, so we went to the grocery store and then we couldn't find where to eat. And the lady, the concierge lady or the travel lady at the, yeah. well, at the grocery store told us a place to find. So we went down to Lahaina and looked for these places. And we didn't, they didn't really have, you know, what Nothing we wanted. Nothing we could really eat. Yeah. That was the yeah. main issue. And so we wandered around there for a while, finally found this little hole in all Mexico. Yeah, it was really good. And they, they, they were really made, nice. They made her special food tour. It was so good. It was amazing. I had a burger. I mean, I think it, it could have tasted like poo, and we still would have loved it. It was, it was pretty good, though. It was really good. It was, good. The it best, was very good. It was the best Mexican restaurant in Maui at some point in time. Mm -hmm. Is that what it said? So yeah. The burger was really good. It was and really then, good. like, I scoffed down the chips and salsa. Yes. I had I had grilled chicken and some rice, but it was, it was good. It was good. And then we went down to the beach at our hotel, which well, was fun. Well, then we went down, no, no. We oh, walked we walked around. around. Yeah. We got ice cream at Canyon Trees. Oh, the ice cream. We got oh my gosh, it was so good. That we shared with Lil' Quay and, and guava. guava ice cream, or sherbet, basically. It was so it was good. Really good. Uh, we got it, like, every time we were down there. And then we so walked good. around, and then we left and went back. Back, yeah. And we walked down the beach. The hotel, and we walked down to the beach. We walked down to the water a little bit. Day two of Hawaii, turtles. We already said we were going to do beach day that day because we were all tired, so we went to a beach. So it was fun, but the currents were really strong. We got strong. But the waves where the surf were so strong, because we were going to go snorkeling, but there was obviously no way to do snorkeling because the waves were just yeah, so, massive so strong that it pushed us. I didn't get bruises from that one, but it pushed us like 
actually pushes onto the like, sand. Like, you would go could, underwater and it would just... I mean, I didn't go underwater, but I just couldn't control, like, I could, I had, I, even if I dug my hands in the sand, I couldn't stop my mm -hmm. So we tried, Crazy. so then we tried to snorkel, we put on our flippers, <laughs> and we put on our snorkel mask. I am so sad we did not get video of that. That was and hilarious. I haven't laughed that hard in so long. and our masks. Oh my and we, god. And we, obviously, <laughs> didn't have to walk in them, and we tried to get to the water, could because the water kept pushing us back on shore. And, like, but and even then, like trying to get to the water because the yeah. sand kept getting cold. Yeah. And, and then I got like rolled into the water. Kimberly was standing up. The waves pushed us. I tripped Kimberly because I went toward her leg. It feels like this is Kimberly's like <laughs> when she went down. Probably one of her bruises. And, um, and then I remember when I finally was like, okay, we're in the water. We have flippers on. We have all this stuff on. She's over there kind of swimming. And I get hit and keep getting hit and go underwater and I can't get back up. My dad's like grabbing and holding on to me. By this point, I've lost the flipper and I'm so upset that the I've lost just flowed in the water. I grab the flipper, <laughs> trying to grab hers, but I can't because I can really control my body. No, my dad's trying to pull her to shore. We rented these flippers, then we're going to have to pay for the flipper and I can't I grab the flipper. My mom comes running down to the beach, <laughs> grabs the flipper so that I can get on shore. And then we finally get her on shore. And up it was a struggle. Yeah, it was a mess. It got, got rougher so, and so rougher. The tide got so close to our, yes. our little sun tent that we decided to And leave. we were way up too. Yeah, it so, was we, just like, oh. so then we left and we went to the other, the preserve bay. Oh my god. Down to the beach. We go snorkeling. This time of snorkeling, we won't die. <laughs> It's really pretty though. So we super excited. Somebody said there's a turtle. Really? And there was this massive sea turtle sitting on the beach. My heart is so happy. <gasps> Hi, darling. Oh, he's smiling. Hi. We did not touch it, no. But there was lots of turtles in the well, lots. There was like three, yeah, two or three. Because it was so cool, yeah. and they would come up and stick their heads up, and it was awesome. Then we did try to snorkel at that beach too, mm -hmm. um, and it worked. I kind of got the hang of it, and I did, but I did see a bunch of fish. They were um, really cool. That were really pretty, so that was cool. And then we went to the little restaurant right there right. We by the, the hotel. Restaurant. And, ate food. and it was so good. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Those red potatoes and that chicken. Oh my gosh. I had a teriyaki burger with grilled pineapple. It was pretty good. I don't even like pineapple, but I liked it too well. It was good food. And we went back up and attempted. That was the night we got the movie and we did oh, the yeah. watch it. Oh yeah, we got free rentals at the hotel, which was like awesome. Movies, yeah. But not and without people. We thought, oh, this is so cool. We're gonna rent movies. Well, we got um, Bumblebee. We, we never did watch. We one. never did watch it. Oh, it's on the right side, you're single. It's on the left side, you're married. Well, this is what you need for a single Christian woman who's desperate. Who's desperate? Married, please. You